screens, ladies and gentlemen, are visuals that have shamed the national capital once again. This is no fight club, but Delhi Assembly, where the voice of dissent in the form of rebel Ahmadmi Party MLA Kapil Mishra was muzzled by brute majority. Only because Mishra levels serious graft charges against the Delhi Chief Minister. But while the Ahmadmi Party may have been successful in silencing those who question their claims of being anti graft crusaders in the assembly, they won't be able to muzzle our voice. We will continue to question them and demand accountability for their actions. Today, we once again bring you yet another expose that puts Kejival's chosen mantri, Satendra Jain, in the dock. Times Now has accessed documents that reveal some of the lands that belong to Delhi's minister Satendra Jain have been seized by tax sleuths. In fact, it is this Income Tax Act in which against Satendra Jain's only defense has been demolished by people who worked with him and completely rooted crores of money through their shell companies to Jain's company. The entire income tax department goes on to say that the money received in the form of share capital from shell companies was used for buying land and hence cash from Benami transactions got converted into land. The charges are serious and the Aam Admi Party's intimidation tactics won't help their cause at all. This, ladies and gentlemen, in my hand is the document of the income tax. This document, which is Prohibition of Benami Property Transactions Act of 1988, under that action taken by the Income Tax Department. And serious charges have been leveled in this document. This document relates to MS Akinchan Developers Private Limited, A2 Ground Floor, Shiv Mandir, Mag, Mandauli, Falsapur, Delhi. This is a document that is of the 24th of May 2007. So very recently the income tax documents have uh, uh, shown us that properties of Satendra Jain have been attached under the prohibition of Benami Property Transactions Act. And let us see what the income tax authorities have found in these documents. These are extremely revealing documents. These documents say Sri Satendra Kumar Jain in his reply dated March 2017 and his statement under section 19 of the prohibition of Benami Properties Transaction Act has altogether denied that he had any knowledge about the bogus share entries obtained by Ms. Uh, MS uh, Akinchan Developers Private Limited. Sri Satendra Kumar Jain cannot deny the fact that uh, this uh, statement is now refuted by several witnesses. In fact, it goes on to say the fact that Sri Satendra Kumar Jain was actively involved in the ownership and management of the company is further reinforced by the following documentary evidence. Documentary evidence number one, which says Satendra Kumar Jain held 23.91% shares in Akinchan developers in 2010 and 2011. In 2015-16, his wife Poonam Jain was holding 19.06 shares of Akinchan developers. It's also notable that Satendra Kumar Jain is one of the directors in the financial years 2010 and 2011. Satendra Kumar Jain has signed as a director of the company in the balance sheet for these years. Satendra Kumar Jain has authorized signatory of the company, signed the conveyance deed for purchase of two properties in the years 2013-14 and also in Para 2. So it is uh, two properties uh, that has been bought. These are the list of properties that have been described by the Income Tax Authority. A one-fourth share in agricultural land measuring 64 biga in Khatta number 150 in Khasra numbers, these situated in Ochandi village in Delhi. Also a second in Bhavana, third in Ochandi, 
फोर्थ इन ओचंडी एंड फिफ्थ इन ओचंडी वर्थ सिक्स करोर फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज दैट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ दीज प्रॉपर्टीज विच हैव नाउ बीन अटैच एंड वॉट दिस डॉक्यूमेंट ऑल्सो गोज ऑन टू से दैट मिस्टर सतेंद्र जैन द बेनिफिशियल इज द ओनर पर्सन हु वॉज कंट्रोलिंग एंड मैनेजिंग फंड थ्रू कोलकाता बेस शेल companies 125 shell companies yes ladies and gentlemen 125 shell companies operating from three addresses in kolkata were controlling the money transfer from these people and who are the three middlemen shri rajendra bansal shri jivendra mishra and shri jp mohta three directors who have given their witness accounts and those witness accounts are attached in this entire document by the income tax departments three three individuals who have given their testimonies for this entire issue all of these details coming out in the dirty trail of satendra jain's money jivendra mishra who's an uh, hawala operator what does he say he says the main business was to provide accommodation entries through shell companies to various beneficiaries in the form of share capital that's jivendra mishra hawala operator who's named in this particular uh, 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 order of the income tax department accommodation entries in the form of share capital were provided to akinchan developers between 2010 and 2016 cash was provided by jain's employees suresh and sanjay who were transferred back to these companies through checks issued by the shell companies that's the entire flow chart that has been described by jivendra mishra rajendra bansal another hawala operator says with the Uh, jivendra mishra it was rajendra bansal who was also providing uh, information and uh, accommodation entries he was uh, introduced to satendra kumar jain by jp mota the auditor of his jain group of companies and he had met uh, these uh, three individuals several times jp mota also auditor of satendra jain's company has endorsed the views that have been given by jivendra mishra and rajendra bansal all of this information is contained in this order that has been given by the income tax department which clearly says that satendra jain who so far claimed to be a witness in this entire case and he said when he was summoned by the income tax department satendra jain said that he was only a witness and he would give all his depositions to the income tax department now the income tax department says his reply dated 16th of march 2017 and his deposition under section 19 of the prohibition of benami properties transactions act have all been found to be completely false and that is the entire uh, uh, that is the entire conclusion that has been drawn by the income tax department clearly showing that mr satendra jain who had denied he had anything the fact that shri satendra kumar jain was actively involved in the ownership and management of the company is further reinforced by the following documentary evidences all the evidences listed here let me also show you some very important notings of this particular note what does this note goes on to say this note says for transactions that happened during the year 2015 and 2016 the cash was handled by me and entries were provided by entities controlled by myself that is bansal jivendra mishra and abhishek chokani during the handling of the cash transaction i had contact with mr sanjay and mr suresh who are employees of satendra jain overall the cash transactions and accommodation entries were done under the supervision and instruction of satendra jain having the contact number and the phone number of satendra jain has been given here so every single entry had the blessings of satendra jain that is something that has been deposed by the hawala operators who have been questioned in this entire case let me go across to my colleague bhavtosh singh who joins me live bhavtosh 
the complete lid being blown off this entire issue uh, you have been uh, able to speak to some of the income tax department officials the fact that three testimonies of rajendra bansal of J jivnesh mishra and jk hota all of them point to one particular fact that it is satendra jain who was using the root of shell companies to actually convert money from black into white by selling shares at 190 rupees and buying them back at 10 rupees per share and then putting this money for land purchase sale where it's also stated in the CBI FIR which says that Mr. Satendra Jain is now misusing his position as a minister to try and convert these uh, agricultural lands into residential areas. Yes, Navika, that's the damning uh, uh, submission by the income tax department. They have said that they have carried out their investigation. Initially, his uh, properties, 200 Vigas property in uh, northwest and outer Delhi, were seized for a period of three months. But the final report, uh, a copy of which is with Times now, clearly shows that income tax has now believed that all the claims that have been made by Satyan Jain are false. And that's the reason why his properties now will remain seized for a period of one year. Uh, senior officials in the income tax department who investigated Satyan Jain, they have said that uh, none of them, be it Satyan Jain, Poonam Jain or uh, his two nephews uh, Ankur and Vaipal Jain have managed to explain uh, uh, that uh, that black money was used to convert white. While he claimed that he was just a witness and that he was no longer associated with the company, the period that is under investigation, that is between 2010, 2011 and 2012, uh, 2013, that's two-year period, at least 16 crore rupees uh, were laundered by them and was converted from black into white. And the income tax has been carried out, uh, carrying out investigation on uh, Satyan Jain for a very long time. This is the final report that has been submitted by the Income Tax Department. They now say that it's up to the CBI to see whether the case is fit to uh, fit to be pursued further. They have said that a preliminary inquiry has been filed by the CBI and in days to come it could be possible that the CBI will file an FIR and will also take into custody Satyan Jain. Well, Bhaktosh, that's an important point. And if I can ask my camera person uh, to focus on these uh, documents, uh, this uh, clearly shows uh, the statements uh, that have been recorded. It says cash transactions and accommodation entries were done under the supervision and instruction of Sri Satendra Kumar Jain over the mobile number of Sri Satendra Kumar Jain. He also provided the mobile numbers of these persons including Mr. Satendra Jain on which he used to communicate with him. Finally, he also admitted that cash was transferred from Delhi to Kolkata through Hawala operators. So cash was transferred from Delhi to Kolkata through Hawala operators and Sri J.P. Mota who is also the accountant, the chief accountant of the company and Sri ba Bablu Pathak used to give instructions on behalf of Sri Satendra Kumar Jain over phone about the cash transfer. So Hawala routes were used. Let me go across to my colleague Anand who is joining me from the studios in Mumbai. Anand, can you take our viewers through the entire pattern of how this flowchart used to work? How was this money transferred? at a premium of 190 rupees and bought back at 10 rupees and how did this entire Hawala money go from Delhi to Kolkata and be routed back for land purchases here in Delhi in the name of Akinchan Developers, a company owned by Satendra Jain in 2010 and 2012. Yes, Navika, and we have to tell our viewers, this is just one small example. We've just put out this flowchart and this is how money was being round-tripped regularly. This might be for a land deal, but one wonders how much cash has been round-tripped like this and what all they stumble upon now. So, Satyendar Jain, and then on the other side, you'd see the flowchart as it flops out. His uh, aides, Suresh and Sanjay, they paid cash to these two people who are Hawala operators in Jivendra Mishra and Rajendra Bansal. And what did these people do? They used, like you mentioned, 122 Hawala companies across three addresses in Kolkata. And they used this money, round-tripped it, and then used it to pay cash to Akinchan developers, of which Satyendra Jain was a former director. 
Now, this whole amount right now, what we are putting out here is about 4.85 crore rupees, which was rotated like this. This is cash, which was rotated. So, it gets paid through his aides. His aides paid to the Hawala operators. They use the shell companies they're operating out of from three addresses in Kolkata and pay back Akinchan developers by check. So, that's how this entire money was being flushed, washed, and then brought back into the system as white by, by, uh, by uh, Satyendra Jain and his aides. He clearly was a director of this company, a former director, so he might uh, want to distance himself. But we put out the time period too, 2010 to 2016, when this entire, uh, you know, this bungling was done, this round tripping was done, Navika.